Hello and welcome back to another video on the Football Zone and to another midweek review reviewing Premier League Championship and FA Cup games. Starting off in the Premier League with Burnley nil Leicester 2. Um, and yeah, James Madison and Jamie Vardy with two late goals um, for Leicester. Um, to the big win. Um, yeah, Vardy coming back and scoring once again just shows how important he is for the team. And yeah, you really hope they can kick on with him now back in the team. As for Burnley, disappointing results. They held off for a while. Um, hopefully not the end of the world. But yeah, sort of disappointing uh, to lose when you were drawing with a few uh, minutes ago. Moving on then to Cardiff 1, Derby now. And a similar story here for Derby really. Um... Well, probably the better team throughout the game, really. Um, but the goal came in the 85th minute for Cardiff. Uchi Piazzu, um scoring the winner. And, yeah, um, yeah, that was that, really. A good one for Cardiff. Steve Morrison's been rewarded with a contract extension. They picked up recently. They're definitely showing positive signs ahead of the next season, so it makes sense. But for Derby, yeah, that's a hammer blow in a relegation battle, and you really do fear for them. It's a long way back from here now, really. Moving on, then, Peaceborough nil, Manchester City 2 was a score at the Western Home Stadium. Um, yes, Peaceborough held off, had a really good chance at the beginning of the second half, but it was two goals um, in the middle from Riyad Mahrez and Jack Grealish that kind of killed the game off. Um... And Jeremy and a good win for um, Manchester City, one of their best, but you know, still dominated the game and did what they needed to do really to get through. Peterborough, obviously, I mean, they give a good account of themselves, but at the end of the day, the main focus is on the league and they're not doing too well at that at the moment, really. Moving on then um, to Sellers Park, where um, Crystal Palace defeated Stoke 2 1. Uh, Koyate gave Palace the lead in the 53rd minute before Timon equalised in the 58th minute for Stoke. Um, the winner came in the 82nd minute for Palace. Um, and yeah, a good win for Palace, um, really. Weren't at their best um, against the weaker side, against the weaker side, obviously being in the Championship. But you know, didn't have to get through, and that's all that matters. Um, being middle of the table in the Premier League, they might as well go for it now. And moving on then to the definitely the upset of the round. I'm before I film this before it was important, so I'll review the presuming the upset of the round. Middlesbrough one, Tottenham nil. Um, and Jarrett, goal came in extra time, 170, 107th minute. Josh Corburn and Jet Barra have not now knocked out. Um, Tottenham and Manchester United, just incredible what they're doing at the moment under Chris Wilder in the cup and yeah, in the league as well, going really well. So yeah, absolutely brilliant performance from Barry. They deserve the win as well, but for Tottenham it just limps them into an even more crisis and yeah, you can really see Conte going soon. Moving on then to uh, Luton 2, Chelsea 3. And yeah, obviously this game is overshadowed by Roman the Bramovich situation. Um... I'll create a video about that another time. But moving on to the game, Luton got off to a flying start. Maybe it was in Chelsea's players' heads early on uh, through Burke before Sal scored in the 27th minute. Good to see him on the score sheet, but Cornick in the 40th minute gave Luton the lead again. But two second half goals from Werner and Lukaku gave Chelsea the win and they advanced to the next round. Wasn't their best performance, but you know, at the end of the day, getting through is all that matters and Luton tight needs to concentrate getting the playoffs. Moving on then to Southampton 3 at uh, West Ham 1. Uh, yeah, a weak team selection by Southampton. I was surprised, especially considering how strong West Ham went, but you know, it paid off for them, paid off with a brilliant goal in the 31st minute, gave Saints the lead, uh, before Antonio equalised, uh, and Will Prowse scored 10 minutes later from the spot, and Borussia with a lovely goal in the 95th minute to give the Saints the win, and yeah, really, really good win for uh, Southampton, considering the circumstances, they're all kind of mid-table as well now, so they can really concentrate it, for West Ham it's de disappointing though, moving on then to Liverpool 2, Norwich 1 at... Um, um, field. And yeah, two first half goals from Taki Minamino uh, gave Liverpool um, the lead. Norwich scored through up in the 76 minutes, giving them a bit of hope. Um, but in the end, it didn't come to pass, and Liverpool progressed in the next round. And yes, yeah, rounds off a great week for Liverpool. Um, wasn't at their best here, but they didn't need to be. Um, so yeah, a good win for Liverpool. Um, and for both teams, they can really concentrate on their league things uh, for the time being, really. To Borenwood nil was the score at Goodison on Thursday night in the FA Cup, and yeah, it basically went the way you were expecting, uh, except for Everton not really getting a breakthrough in the first half. The two goals coming from Salah and Rondon in the 57th and 84th. They also did have a goal to cloud from Richarlison. But you know, on the whole, Borenwood, I think you can say they did themselves proud here. Weren't were outclassed, obviously, but you know, weren't fresh like many feared. Um, and for Everton, it's a professional job, not the finest performance you've ever seen, but job done. Uh, and I think both teams will go away from this one relatively happy. But anyway, guys, that's it for you. Thanks very much for watching. To like, share, subscribe, comment, thoughts, comments down below. Follow us on Twitter. Links are for daily football news and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, might now be greatly appreciated. Thanks very much for watching. Peace.